A parking lot attendant accused of shooting a man upset because he had his car booted says that he feared for his life. We first reported this story back on Thanksgiving Day. We also talked to the person who was shot. Today, Channel 2 anchor Wendy Corona spoke with the accused shooter to get his side of the story. Wendy. Well, Javita, his attorney told me everyone is glad it was not worse and that his client shot his gun in self-defense. It's not even reckless conduct. It is justifiable conduct that he did in self-defense. Attorney Lawrence Zimmerman represents Alexander Bland Jr. He spoke with me at his Marietta office. My client was scared for his life. Bland, an employee of Empire Parking Services, turned himself into police Wednesday and walked out of jail Thursday morning. He faces misdemeanor reckless conduct charges from what happened at this Buckhead parking lot on Roswell Road early Thanksgiving morning. He was defending himself from an aggressor who was going to harm him. Zimmerman said Bland was doing his job when two men became irate their car had been booted. This picture shows the door jam to Bland's SUV. He says the men busted that night in their aggression. He said the men then made threats and continued to approach him. So Bland grabbed his gun from inside his SUV. They threatened to take his gun and kept approaching him. That's when he'd fired a shot. It struck Matthew Stevens in the leg. We spoke with Stevens the day after it happened. He described his reaction when he saw the gun. I was fearing for my life and I put my hands up saying, chill, chill, chill. At first I didn't even notice I was shot, but I felt myself limping. Zimmerman said it was all unfortunate. He's a military veteran who, who's defended this country, he's defended our freedoms, and unfortunately on this night he's defending himself. The man who Bland shot, Matthew Stevens, turned himself in today. He's in the Fulton County Jail right now on charges for simple battery and criminal damage to property. Live in the newsroom, Wendy Corona, Channel 2 Action News.